What is going on, everybody? Today, I have a very special video for you guys. And, you know, I I like to do short squeezes only, which we will get into that. But before I start this video, I want to tell you all that God loves you all. Okay, let's get to this money. Let's get to this money. You know what I'm saying? Let's get to it. Okay. And I just want to show you the only reason I'm pulling this out to show anything is because I'm going to put all this into my bank. You know, I like to keep cash. Okay, I like to keep cash. But when I put it in the bank, I'm going to be investing $1,000 into Lucid Group. Okay, I've just put I just put money in there right now. And I want to show you guys just a little bit of what I'm what I what my shares are. And for those of you who wonder why I got one share of these is because I've been watching them. And but really the video ain't about all that, okay? The video is about Lucid Group, okay? And I think there are some very, very big things coming for Lucid, okay? Let's just see right there. We're at $60 just about. Right now, I have a top line. I'm really sorry that I missed this shit because that would have been good. Almost $6, and it went up to... At $12, your money doubled, but it went all the way up to $18. And let me go ahead and move this. I want to show you guys something. One reason I will tell you right now, I'm not very... I am not very privy, I guess you could say. I'm not real interested in EV cars, but I seen this one, and I was like, oh, shit. That is badass, okay? These ain't no ugly Tesla-looking cars, all right? These are fast cars, okay? And I'm just going to show this picture. I hope I don't get in trouble or nothing. But there is a video. I recommend y'all guys go watch it. Lucid Air Sapphire crushes Tesla Model S Plaid, Bugatti, and Ducati. Like, y'all guys should have seen this video. That Sapphire is fast as shit. And I love fast cars. If you know what I drive, the couple of them that I drive... I don't drive no slow piece of shit. I'll tell you that right now. And y'all guys just check this out and look at the interior. Like, oh, I could y'all give y'all leave a comment. And tell me what you think. And I can show you guys the interior. I could open all the doors on the Lucid. I could do all that. You just let me know. These cars are luxury is what they're called. OK, and I just want to go over some little news that I Little, that I read on it, which made me look into it, and I, you, you guys seen I made a, over four thousand on Molen Automotive, but I never liked how the Molen Automotive cars looked. Okay, I never liked how they looked, but I have always liked how Lucid looks, but I never really looked into it that deep. I just looked at the cars, I just did a little research, and I never thought about investing in them, <laughs> but. I want to tell you guys right now, the New York company shares saw their biggest one day gain on record based on a rumor that Saudi Arabia's public investment fund wants to buy out the electric vehicle maker. And I have not seen any videos on YouTube about Lucid. I haven't done looked it up or nothing, but I feel like if anybody's making a video on this, they are have to point out who wants to bid against Saudi Arabia like come on now we know what they got out there well they got tons of money okay and I'm guessing since they're out of oil supposedly supposedly don't say I'm a dumbass now okay so chill out but they got that money okay they got 10 times over what you can dream of okay and just imagine Bidding against them. I'm not going to say much. But what I'm saying is, think about it. If Saudi Arabia's PIF, Public Investment Fund, is looking to buy out the EV company, think about it. 
they are looking for a new source of income. And they see Lucid as a very great, a very great one. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, so look, they see Lucid as a very good investment for themselves. Okay. January 27th, Lucid shares surged 43% on Friday, pairing gains after doubling on market speculation that Saudi Arabia's public investment fund wanted to buy out the electric fund. Okay. The speculations originated from an uncooked alert attributed deals website using its term for market gossip lucid was the sixth most traded stock on the u.s exchanges and the third top mover on nasdaq mid-afternoon and i will tell you guys right now i'm not a very long type of person i I like short squeezes but i've been Seeing a lot of things on Lucid a lot lately, which make me want to be along on this at least two to three years, maybe five or ten. Just put money in it, you know, just keep adding money and don't ever sell because I seen where Tesla went. Tesla was just about a thousand dollars a few years ago. And then for, for those of you who think that I'm stupid or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I show everything in this channel, okay? And I'll show you. I had I had shares of Tesla when they were about $700 a share, okay? So don't go saying on uh, that stupid shit to me, okay? Let me just go ahead and Tesla. They don't call me big money gooch for no reason. I'll tell you that right now, okay? i show you on my phone because it'd be moving slow on here. All right, but look, it's, it's 2023 right now. You know what I'm saying? And... May 9th of 2021, Tesla was at $664, and I sold 1.3 shares of Tesla. Damn, I want to get it on here and show you guys, but I don't want to take too much of your time, okay? I can, matter of fact, I'm going to put that in the, um, look, 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 watch this. That's going to be the, that's going to be the, oh, hold on, that's going to be the, um, you know, the picture for the video, it ain't going to be a picture for the video. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. But I just want you guys to notice. Okay. Tesla might be the, you know, Elon Musk is rich as hell. Okay. He's the richest man in the world that we know of the rich man in the world. That's on paper. Okay. There's other people out there with more money than him. They just don't have a government. They have to, you know, abide by or pay taxes to or give their information about you know what i'm saying so Elon Musk is the richest that we know but if there is someone in saudi arabia that has more money than him they can turn this company around like they ain't never seen and i definitely believe that lucid could be seeing 100 to a thousand dollars a share within the next five years that's why i was saying i might be long on this one because there's a lot of shorts out there and you know, I can double my money, you know, like set, say I buy a thousand shares, right? Well, if it doubles my money, I sell 500 of them. So just so I can take my profits out and leave the rest in forever, forever until it hits like thousand dollars. And then I have $500,000. That's the way I'm looking at this, but really that's all the news on it. But main thing, this is what made me, this is what made me start looking into it for a squeeze, okay? Lucid shares soared as much as 88% on Friday and were repeatedly halted for volatility following speculation that Saudi Arabia's PIF is considering buying a remaining stake in the luxury EV startup. Startup. Y'all understand that word? Startup. It is a... We are in the beginning of something very big. I'll tell you that right now. The spike came after a a potential deal alert from the website Betaville Shares. Close higher, okay? This the stock's parabolic move was like. Okay, look, I'm gonna just tell you guys right now because I just thought about it. I do a lot of penny, penny stock videos, and I do a lot of short squeeze on penny stocks. And for those of you who subscribe to me right now. And y'all are watching all my penny stocks. I will still be looking into them. 
Okay, so don't think that anything different, but I'm I just wanted to make and uh, like basically give some information on Lucid and how I feel about it because I think that there is a lot of potential, okay? Like you could just go look anywhere. Like don't forget, go on go on YouTube and, and type this in. Okay, Lucid Air crushes Bugatti. Just type that in. Bugatti Chiron with 1,587 horsepower. And the Lucid Air has a little over 1,300, 1,200. The Sapphire does. And 300 horsepower less. And it was five cars in front of the Bugatti. Five cars. The Bugatti was still in the back. Now, I'm I'm not saying in the long term, the Bugatti would have dusted that that sapphire but that that just goes to show that sapphire got some quick get up okay i think it went like 180 and on a quarter mile you go check that out okay but i just want you guys to see the charts and and understand what i'm trying to tell you guys about okay and on a day on the day we're in a downward trend but you see we closed the day above the downward trend so monday and all next week, this day trend, it will only turn into an upward trend if we break $16 and start moving upward from there. That's why I had the line right here. Okay, I'm not, I normally look at resistance and support levels, but those are on penny stocks, okay? This one, I can show you where it does t have a little resistance, but none of that really matters to me because this stock is going places, okay? But, I don't, I'm not no pumper either, okay? I just want you guys to know that. But I am someone who says what they see to to the exact point, okay? Everything I think, I just say it, okay? And, man, I'm ready, to, I'm ready to see what Monday brings with this one. Not even Monday, but Monday of next year on this day. That's what I'm saying. I'm ready to see because there's some great things going to happen. And like I said... I will make a video on Monday putting a thousand dollars into into Lucid. Okay, so if you made it this far, hit that subscribe button because we are going to be going up in the world. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Okay, but until then, this is Trader Josh, also known as Big Money Gooch, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, all right.